Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. That's the two common sentences in both the gospel today and the first reading, the Old Testament and New Testament. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. And really that's our job during the season of Advent to prepare ourselves for the coming of Christ, our Savior. But, you know, to prepare for our Savior, we have to truly believe and want and need a Savior. So let me ask you, do you need a Savior in your life? Do you want a Savior in your life? Or are we just going through the motions because it is Advent and I should be preparing for the Savior? Because it's truly in our hearts that needs transforming. Not only our homes with the decoration and preparing, the physical things we're good at, but how about the spiritual preparing? Make straight, make way for the Lord, make straight his path. But first starts with us needing a savior, us wanting a savior. In the gospel today, it begins by saying, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God. We, in this new liturgical year, we're, we're reading from the gospel of Mark. But the first sentence says, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. What does that mean? It really means it's saying, the beginning of the good news of our Savior. Really, the gospel of Mark is really talking about how this is a story of freedom, of saving. And really, that should excite us, inspire us. Because I think more now than ever, we need a savior in our lives. We need freedom. Just think about what's going on in the world. We feel bondage by the pandemic. That we're not free to do things. We're not free to, to live our lives the way we know we should be living it. There is kind of a bondage to that. Not only that, it's our anxieties, our fears. You know, the thing about pain, that the world wants to numb out pain. But you know what, pain is, is there for a reason. Pain tells us there's something going on. And if it doesn't change, then it just continues on. You know, in the 12-step program, they have a definition of insanity. The definition is, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting for different results. And sometimes I think we do the same. We live our lives exactly the same way, and yet we complain about it. We want things to change, but yet we don't change anything within ourselves. But it is hard, because the culture is against us. It doesn't want us to know. It doesn't want us to really look within, to change anything. This season of Advent is a time of preparation, really to wake us up, to really ask ourselves, what's going on in my life? Where do I need a savior? What needs changing? Because then, once you have that answer, your hearts will start to open up to God's grace. And then you will prepare for the true coming of our Lord, the true freedom of your life. But how? How do we prepare the way of the Lord and make straight his path this season? To prepare the way of the Lord and make straight his path. You know, there's an analogy that I find very helpful in 
our relationship with Jesus, with God. Now imagine Jesus or God is a helicopter, okay? And this helicopter needs to land on your heart. Now, if I just actually talked to a helicopter pilot yesterday, and he said this was a great analogy, so trust me on this one. Well, the thing is, is the helicopter can't land unless he has, you know, confirmation from people on the ground, or else it will crash. You know, this helicopter pilot said that there's so many times where the helicopter, the emergency people are there at the emergency, but they don't have any signal from the people down that they can land. So they can't. Jesus Christ and God is always trying to land in our lives, in our hearts, always. Now we need to prepare the way for him. We need to, you know, if there's there's valleys and hills, we need to close down those hills and fill in the valleys. Meaning if there's a lot of noise, a lot of brush, not a lot of flat land, that we need to clear it away. Now, what is, what is the brush? What is the noise in your life? Oftentimes, it is literally just noise. So this season, do you take time in silence? Do you take time in silence? Not only silence is good to receive the Lord's grace, and hear his voice, but also it lets you know what you're truly thinking, what you're truly feeling, and that's uncomfortable. So why do it alone? We have this great new adoration chapel. Sit in the chapel maybe once a week for an hour, just try, or maybe just five minutes to start. But we have to start to leave some silence not only to get to know ourselves, but to leave room for the Lord in our life, to land, to make straight his path. Sometimes it's even sin, the sins of our lives that hold us back. Maybe we're just angry and we don't know why we're angry or we're just anxious all the time and we don't know why. Examine your conscience. Come to confession. Because it's in coming to confession and realizing our own sins, it's not there to beat us up, but it's actually truly acknowledging that we need God's grace in our life, that we want it. And so the sacrament actually frees your heart to receive the grace of God more fully in your life. So prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path this Advent season. But first, think, do I need a savior in my life? Do I want a savior in my life? So as you come before the Lord today where Christ is truly present before you in the Eucharist, let us continue to have the strength and the courage to sit with the Lord in silence to examine our conscience, so that then we're free to receive the Lord's grace in our lives, our Savior. Amen.